Welcome to another Learn and Gain session on ITIL. In this video, we will talk about Service Asset and Configuration Management. What is an asset? An asset can be a resource or capability. Let us say you own a car. A car is your asset that you own. If you know to drive a car, that is your capability. Consider a scenario of an interview. You as a person is an asset to the organization, when joined, the skills and domain experience to perform the job, are your capabilities. In an IT organization, an example of an asset could be the number of computers available, the required number of associates and so on. The knowledge, skill set and the domain experience of each individual associate, is the capability. Collaboration, creativity, innovation in solutions are also some examples. Let us consider a scenario in a supermarket for understanding service asset and configuration management. A supermarket has to maintain inventory data of all products, all the time. The store has to manage the information of all the products, available in the store, items available in inventory, expiry date, when more items are needed and so on. Take an example of a set of computers. Each computer mentioned here have unique configuration, some may have same in configuration, but might be used for a different purpose. All the configuration details are stored in a configuration record. A configuration record has all hardware information like processor, memory, display card and software. Software information like operating system, software applications installed on the computer. One of the most common terms in configuration management is CMS. CMS stands for Configuration Management System. Let us see how these five configuration records are stored in CMS. Configuration item is referred as a CI. Each CI record will be stored in a database. This database is referred to as Configuration Management Database commonly known as CMDB. In simple terms, CMS is a collection of multiple configuration management database. Multiple database are consolidated to form a CMS. CMS also includes any tools associated. CMS forms a part of the larger service knowledge management system. More details available in our knowledge management basics video. Let us try to relate the items in a supermarket. Each veggie within a group is related to a configuration item record. Each and every veggie group can be related to a configuration management database. There will be multiple databases one for each type of veggie. The entire veggie section can be related to CMS, configuration management system. The goal of SACM is to support the business and customer objectives and requirements. Support effective and efficient service management process by providing accurate info. Minimize the number of quality and compliance issues caused by improper configuration of assets. Optimize the service assets, IT configurations, capabilities and resources. How does SACM provide value to business? By better forecasting and change planning, tickets resolved within SLA, better adherence to standards, more business and cost for service. There is an old Danish proverb that states, when you have one clock, you know the time, and when you have more than one, you are no longer certain. SACM delivers that one clock. Hope we have provided you a brief overview on service asset and configuration management. For more videos, please visit our website at www.learnandgain.in. You can also subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We will be publishing more videos on ITIL. You can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash learn and gain. You can also follow us on LinkedIn. You can also follow us on Twitter. Thank you and have a nice day.